Well, I felt like praise and worship this morning was a flow of a lot of different things, and it, I don't know why it still amazes me. I hope it never stops amazing me that how God will give you a flow of something, and you may have already had two or three songs that have been on your heart all week, and then you never really pay attention to all the words of them, you know, as you're putting it together, and then he'll give you a flow, and you'll put some more songs in there, and then when you go back, and, and I always go back and do a run-through of the whole thing, and you're just like amazed that those first couple of songs that you put in there say the things that he gave you the flow, and you didn't even remember that that verse was in there, and um, I didn't have any songs until last night. I didn't, you know, and sometimes that, you know, you'll have two or three that go through your head all week, and you'll know that you know that they belong there, even if you don't know what the flow is yet. But I just kept, one of the biggest phrases that just kept coming to me is seeing his face, that we want to see his face, you know. And, and so much of what Kathy taught a few weeks ago just impacted me so dramatically. I don't know. It's just like, you know, we always talk about we know God is good. We say that all the time. But I'm starting to feel it, you know. I'm starting to know. And, you know, Kathy said, I hear her say things sometimes like, you know, things are taught around here for years and years and years, and we sit and we shake our heads because we do think we know. We're not, we're not trying to disagree, to agree, but we really think we know. And then all of a sudden, he reveals something to himself of his self that you've never seen before in a way that you've never seen it before. And all of a sudden, now you know something you didn't know before of him, you know, and I've known he's good. I can remember back before I even served God, drinking <laughs> and talking about God with people. And I was talking with a young woman one time, and she said, I don't know how the conversation even started, but she started saying, oh, if God's so good, why'd he kill my baby? And even clear back then, not knowing any of God's attributes, I said to her, I don't know what happened. All I know is he's good, and if that happened, it happened, you know, there was a reason for it. You know, me probably still thinking that maybe God did do it, but if he did it, it was for a good reason. Because even then, I knew he was good. You know, I didn't understand all the concepts of it, but even then, I knew he was good. Somehow, I have always known he's good. And, and I've shared with you before how I heard somebody talking one time, a pastor saying, face it, people, God kills, and talking about the children of Israel and still not knowing, but in my heart, knowing that's not right. There's something wrong with that. And somehow I've always known he's good, but somehow in her teaching, it's been revealed to me a whole other side of him that I've never seen and known before. And like now, you're all sitting there shaking your heads, but you wonder what levels are we all on? We're all on different levels because we're all... We all started at different places. We've all been told different things. You know, we've all seen and heard and had different experiences. And we all are at different levels of knowing how good he is. None of us have seen the fullness of it yet. And that's kind of where the praise and worship, I told Kathy this morning, it was like there were not songs big enough and deep enough and overwhelming enough to say what I wanted to say in my heart. Because what we're trying to get a hold of here is so much bigger than we can even comprehend. And the one song we're going to do talks about changing the nations. And I felt like when I picked it out, it's not talking about just changing, you know, Africa and, and nations and America and, and things like that. But that's what's going to result in what God's wanting to do. But, and it's not just the nations in us, which we've talked about that a lot too, it's everything. I thought it, it's every molecule, it's every thought, it's every breath, it's everything of this earth, it's everything of the spirit, it's everything of heaven above and hell below and earth in between. It's everything that we think, everything that we do, everything that we are. All of it needs to change. All of it is crying out and groaning for God, for the sons of God to manifest themselves and become who they're supposed to be. And we don't have songs big enough to sing all of that. But as we sing Change the Nations this morning, that's what I felt inside. And, and then it's also there was a flow of we want to see your glory because that's what's going to change the nations is seeing who he really is and, and the goodness of who he is. And also in that song about changing the nations, we get to a part where we say we want people to see his goodness. We want... It so breaks my heart anymore the way and the things that we've done and said about God 
when he's so good, when he's just so good, and everything's a lie. The enemy has lied so much to us about God's character. And so then we're going to do, I saw the Lord seated high on his throne because it's kingdom, it's his kingdom and his rule and his reign that's going to bring these things about. And I haven't even begun to, to tell you <laughs> what it feels like in here. I'm hoping as we go into praise and worship, it'll come out of all of us that this is so much bigger than we think. And just, it's beyond words. You cannot come up with words to say what's going on uh, about how big it is, about the things he wants to do. And like I was telling Kathy, it's not, okay, we need some healing in here, but it's not about healing. You know, we need some prosperity in here, but it's not about prosperity. It's not about getting marriages saved. It's not about getting kids saved. It's not about going out and evangelizing to everybody. It's about everybody knowing who he is, and out of that, those things will come. You know, that's his goodness. That's what we get back. But until people start understanding how good he is, how big he is, how glorious he is, how majestic he is, how there's no words in big enough to explain who he is, until we start really getting that in our hearts, we're going to keep dealing with these things, you know? But we're trying to bring this into the earth. We're I wish that I had words to put to what it is that I got out of Kathy's teaching. I wish I had word. Good is not a good enough word <laughs> for who he is. You know, and and I say, I've said this so many times in the last few months, but I heard that pastor teaching. The word gospel means it's almost too good to be true news. And what I'm starting to see of God you almost kind of tilt, <laughs> like, can he really be that good? Can he really be that kind? Can he, you know, all the things, the fruits of the spirit, can he really be all those things? You know, because we've told so, been told so many times that he's not, that he's, you know, he's just waiting to punish us. And, and that's how our society has, has always been, is if you punish somebody enough, they'll get it. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's the goodness of God that brings men to repentance. It's the goodness of who he is that's going to change the nations. And it's a big task we have before us to go out and tear down those religious strongholds that say differently about him. I mean, it's, it's got to be a by his spirit because we're not going to be able to do it on our own. You know, it's been by his spirit that it's been revealed to us. It's going to be by his spirit that we reveal it to everybody else. But it's... It's his rule and reign. It's his goodness. I just, I just hope that we can get through praise and worship what it is that he wants this morning. And, and um, Kathy was sharing, too, that we might go into some prayer um, instead of waiting until after. It might happen during some of the praise and worship. So if somebody starts breaking out in prayer, let's just go with it. Let's not try to stop it. And, let's, and if you have something, don't try to shut it down because I think that's kind of what God's wanting to do. It seems like I have one more thing, but I lost it. Seems that's it.